Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And it's done out. And it's, you see, where y'all at? Wait a minute, where the camera? Uh, I'm just glad she enjoying her birthday dinner. That's all that mattered to me. <clears throat> Static is hardly better. Hardly was sick. Mm -hmm. Second time in like a couple of like three weeks. With a cold. They tell me I wipe my my face with my hand. I'm like, God, what am I doing? I gotta hold that. <laughs> they talking about you should have your butt wipe but your head, your mouth with your head. <laughs> you ever heard the expression? You can take a take it out of the hood, but you can't take the hood out of it. They he used to know. The diet overseas is different compared to the U.S. We have too many fillers like steroids and etc. You have to stuff that we're allowed to do with food and, and drink in, in America. Well, you know that when we drink juice and, and soda or something like that overseas. Can't have all that fructose. That little part right there, I almost had that taste, so I ain't going to go that deep on that piece. And she eating with her hands. This is how my, blitz. my people Thank you, bro. Eat. I'm not from England, so I don't have to eat with a knife and a fork. Those are the only people you think eat with knife and fork? No. But when you eat with your fingers, it's cultural. That's when you're eating finger food? No, because African people eat with their fingers. Yeah. And they eat African food with their fingers. Ew. That tastes like lamb. Oh, my God. Her lamb tastes like lamb, y'all. That piece did. The first piece did. Don't encourage her to talk about that's how you enjoy the food with your hands. Don't, don't, don't encourage her. You want these pieces of lobster? Just put them in there. Oh, you really gonna have you some lobster mac and cheese? I sure will. I already paid for this food. I don't have to order no fruit service. You want some vegetables? I do not. Okay, I'm gonna eat your carrots and then you could have my lobster. <laughs> Just pick it up. <laughs> she said, leave me alone. It's my bird. Oh, hey, Miss 24 7, girl. His wife dance team want to dance for the opening, the grand opening. Sure, we love the kids. He, he didn't say there was kids. <laughs> they might be the groovy grannies that be dancing <laughs> a basketball game. I'm gonna have to get on a team, but I don't. I don't want to dance for the basketball game. Um, it is a nice peaceful night. Trilly Pope say happy cheat day. Hey Trilly, thank you. Get Tris Litches, did you? I don't like wet cake. I don't think so. Okay. It's not like I picked this. You have to they have certain meals that you pick. But I asked him to switch for the tuna tartare. And to give me some mashed potatoes. Oh, okay. they specially made you these? Like it's from another menu.
That's a real mashed potato right there. It's not powdered. Mm-mm. <clears throat> and in your purse, I dropped a hot sauce earlier from Chick-fil-A. <laughs> So I, I told this. you about dropping stuff in my purse. You're going to get me sent to jail. For hot sauce? <laughs> For a condiment? Yeah, they don't want you taking a condiment. Give that some flavor. Throw me a little square. I'm going to ride for my... I'm going to jail for you. No. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> you going to tell quicker, quicker than who? One thing so I ain't going to so. do is go to jail for you. I wouldn't put her in that position. Y'all know me better than that. We don't know. Some fold in the in that moment. Blew my mind when the police told me that. Say pure mashed potatoes, not stepped on. Yep, that's that work right there. <laughs> it's like pure, not stepped on. We gonna be scraping the bowl with this. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, that's the idea that. How's everything so far? Amazing. Delicious. We are done here. Excelente, caballero. Gracias, señor. The Chick-fil-A hot sauce, señorita. you got to ask for it. Like, it's not something that comes. It's not. Um, can I get this to go, the mashed potatoes? Oops, definitely. I'm going to put, you going to eat some of this? Like, Mm-mm. You sure? Because I'm going to put this on there. I don't like lobster. But you like the mashed though. Just put it on there. I'll just stay on that side. Don't drop it on the mashed potato side. Do you want me to leave with the bread? Yes. Excellent. Gracias, señor. And I put in the bag to go for you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So it was a pleasure. <clears throat> Hi. Hey, y'all. I'm Bun. This is my wife, Queenie. I'm Queen. We from Houston. We. No, uh, you're not. You from Port Arthur. No. I'm from. I'm we from live Houston. in Houston. We live in Houston. <laughs> no, from. we don't. <laughs> we stay by Houston. <laughs> She's not crazy about her makeup because she left her makeup brush at home. So she had to like find a way to put her makeup on without having all her equipment. <laughs> <laughs> and so all she my worried utensils. And so she worried that her makeup not gonna look right on camera and people tend to film people of influence or whatever. So she trying to not be in the camera too much because she don't want to get filmed and people. I had to apply my makeup with my fingers. <clears throat> it still look better than half you dusty hoe. Don't talk about females. I it's would, enough, y'all bash us. I would never gonna, talk about females. Not I have nothing bad to say. I have nothing bad to say about my beautiful black women and queens. That's exactly. But these dusty hoes, we have to. They even, come in all colors, though. What hoes? Yeah. Dusty hoes. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. But so do women, and we got to learn how to differentiate between a woman and a dusty hoe. I'm not gonna let you put yourself in the same group of people as a dusty hoe. But they still are females. That's mentally. When they turn themselves into hoes, that's mentally. Mm -hmm. That's a mental thing. That's because they don't have enough. What's that? <clears throat> what's that, you know, to build themselves up? Yeah, that's some mentally. People, some people actually enjoy That's being no, pimp. Some, some that's people, mentally. Some people enjoy. It's not everybody that's promiscuous is a to themselves about it for money. Some people Some people just, sell their bodies some, for money to take care of their family. The hippies, the 60s, right? Mm -hmm. That was the era of free love. This was about people being free and open with their body and wanting so to they have everybody? Yeah. Are we still in New York? Now tell me if these look like New York. Do I look like New York? Because that's what she's showing. <laughs> I don't know. Where the little twist around exactly. thing is? Oh, uh, way up there. Yeah, we we on we we in um what's that place? Uh, Nantucket. Nantucket. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what even am I? In the Hamptons. Yeah, the, we in the Hamptons. How long we been married? 
20 years. March 20, 23 is 20 years. How long we been together? Long. <laughs> 25 years. We've been married for 20 years and been together 25 years. Thank you, Sexy Nick. Come on with the dessert. It's getting cold out here. We still got to walk that. Thank you, Ray Perrin. That's Ray from Nobu. Oh, for real? Mm-hmm. Ray, we're probably going to be calling you for dinner on love Sunday. Love is real. Yeah, love is real. I'll keep you I'll keep and you love updated. love comes with its ups and downs. <clears throat> Eighty more years. <laughs> they told us they take me together eighty more years. We gonna be Ooh, here eighty man. more years. I got more. I got more years behind me that I got left in front of me. <laughs> first date. Is this our first? Well, when we went on our first? Oh, let me tell y'all. Where did we go on our first date? To the casino. First date. Defined date. Our first date out together. <laughs> We went to we went to straw we was at strawberries. Oh uh, yeah, our first date was strawberries. Strawberries in Baton Rouge, right? No, strawberries is in uh La Lafayette. Lafayette. Yeah. What was it? Crawfish Festival? No. Mm -mm. Y'all just had a show. We had up? a show at, at uh at strawberries. Oh, they say stereo time. And they said uh, Okay, Bob, story <laughs> time. All right, so wait, let me turn it around. Yeah. Jesus, this is the turnaround. Just oh, so right you know. there. Yeah. <clears throat> Still time. All right, so I met Queen um, right when we just finished mastering Riding Dirty, and we met at a get together. I asked a good friend of mine, Eddie, rest in peace, who um, was a mutual friend of ours. I was like, I got my album. Why don't you invite some people over and we'll play the album? She was there. I got her number. And. We lived in Houston, and I invited her on a date to Louisiana. <laughs> People had to drive four hours. That's how far the day was, four hours away for our, for our first date. And um, and they came, and they wanted, we were on stage, and they were on the side of the stage. <clears throat> and I was telling them to come up on the stage, and her friends came up on the stage. And Queenie, who, which is, this is why the whole relationship with Queenie and I is crazy, because <clears throat> Queenie is not like a people person. Queenie is not like trying to be in the spotlight, seeing or notice any of that type of shit. And so when I told them to come on the stage, she was like, mm -mm, I'm not going up there. A friend was like, girl, we going up there. But Chad didn't know that they were with me. So when the girls hit the stage, she was like, who the f is these bitches? You know what I'm saying? Get the f off the stage. It was, oh my God, it was bad. And then Queen was like, see, I told y'all I'm not getting up on that stage. And so not only did she look good, um, she was smart, too. <laughs> um, and then the, the second date would have been coming to Port Arthur to the house. That would have been the second date. No, Lake Charles. Remember the middle fingers performed, too, in Lake Charles. But you came to Port Arthur before that, though. For what? To come out of the house when you can't win. Because remember, Donald Ray. Something. Well, <laughs> so a friend of hers was dating a friend of mine. I think Tina was talking to Donald Ray. No, Carla. Carla. Somebody was, was talking to D Ray. No, no Carla. Not was, D Ray. The yeah. Other one. No, but. And so they drove down to Port Arthur. And uh, I guess the conversation to give me some came up. And I didn't have no. And I knew she was fertile. So I was like, I need to go and get up and get, let me go get some right quick. And I came back and we, we made love to reasonable <laughs> doubt. No, I heard Foxy Brown. And, yeah, uh, because it was Jay-Z. Because oh, it was the yeah. reasonable doubt album. <laughs> yeah. And so, yeah, that was the soundtrack to our love. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell nobody. That. <laughs> I'm just telling. <laughs> That's 
That's all I heard playing in the background. On repeat. <laughs> I think I went to Walmart that day and bought a little stereo for my room. <laughs> because there was never any need for music because... The house was a studio and we made music all the time in the studio. And I think because I knew a girl was coming, I think I bought some sheets. <laughs> no wonder that was hard. I think I bought some you sheets. You went to Walmart because that was the only well, that, big show y'all had. It'd be better if they'd be hard because they knew if they were hard because they were dirty and all kind of dried up sweat and shit. <laughs> he went to, to Walmart and got some 150 thread sheets. I came home with bruises. <laughs> Man, look. You got on your back. You got on your back? I don't have a problem having got on my back that night. I, I was fine with the bruises. You don't want to talk about you had bruises like you complained. My knees was all scraped up and shit. So who was my best man? Who was my best man? At Mon. Mon, right? Would have yeah, been. It was Mon. Chocolate. Yeah, that's right. We had a chocolate mountain with uh, some uh, joker ice cream and berries. Thank you. Please enjoy. Thank you. Do you have like some cherry glaze? A uh, strawberry glaze. Let me talk with the kitchen. Let's is there any, any other desserts? Um, well, I'll pay for it. I'll yeah, pay no, for it. no, I mean, yeah. no worse. But like, let me let me take some bread quick okay. like, and see yeah. what we have. Okay. But we used to have here brownie, uh, chocolate brownie, which is like which yeah, I like, like chocolate. You don't like chocolate? No. So we have also the um. You got tres leches. Oh yeah, give me some tapioca. Tapioca? Yeah. Let me let me let me uh, okay. put it in there right now. I'm about the only human that don't like chocolate. All right, so here's the deal. Did you make this dinner for you? <laughs> Everything was here's for the, you. Here's the deal. <laughs> I had an entire Queenie weekend planned. Everything was set up. A warmer climate. Totally different dining experience, everything, all of it, super catered to Queenie. Uh, no, it's not a tent. It's like a cabana, like set up on the beach. <clears throat> and so, um, though we, but the flight, we had to get up very early to get the flight. It had to connect in order for it to, I was trying to fly a certain way so she could have a certain level of comfort. I had to, it had to be connecting for it to happen. And we had to literally wake up at like 2.30 in the morning to get dressed and get packed up and get, we live an hour from the airport um, to make like a 5.20 flight. And this one um, had just got her hair done that day. The wig wasn't right. The rig was actually, I don't think it was too big. <laughs> Too big or too small or something. You were supposed to tell them it was a wig. They was gonna already know that. Look, whatever. I ain't got time to start lying. Y'all know. <laughs> I had one right. Right? Whatever you want. People know how long your hair is. You're uh -huh. not fooling nobody. Uh -huh. I and, never said I was. Anyway, the alarm went off at 2 30 in the morning. And I laid it next to her pillow. And I said, if you want to get up, this is your birthday. This is your flight. If you want to get up and get on this plane, that's on you. If you don't, and just don't tell me I'll cut this alarm off we can go back to sleep. Well, we're not, obviously we're not in the warmer places, you can see. Oh. Okay, or whatever. Um, with the wind blowing or whatever. And so, I literally had to try to put an entire birthday weekend vacation together uh, in the 24 hours. You know what I'm saying? So I just asked for the best of everything. I have whatever they did Everybody for birthdays. Like Le listen, they're not, I'm not talking to you. People asked me, what did I want? I said, I wanted the best of everything. When the room came, I wanted the best of this. I wanted a big old cake. Well, we can't do a cake in 24 hours. Well, give me the best you got. I want this set up for dinner. We can't do that. Well, give me the best you got, right? And so I looked through the different dinners. And I, some of them I knew she wasn't going to like at all. And this was the... 
the best thing I could put together in a short amount of time. Now, I ain't getting no goddamn credit for trying to... Look I me. told you it was beautiful. I just think you picked the food for you because everything you picked, I don't eat. I picked tuna tartare. I eat that. I picked the arugula salad. I eat that. I picked lobster and... And surf and turf. I don't I think surf and turf, but you ate it. You liked it. I only like one piece of the lamb. The other one I didn't. Mm hmm So what that mean to me? What that mean? I <clears throat> it was all in favor of you. So when your birthday comes, I'm gonna make the, the dinner for me. Because you made this dinner for you. You had a Queenie dinner. You didn't want to wake up and go to a Queenie dinner. You would have had a different kind of treat because you would have been in town a day early. You would have had you had a certain kind of setup when you would have gotten your room. The next day, you had serenade just like Jamaica. It would have been all of that again. I couldn't do it all because we switched location. I tried to have mariachi out here. I told you just say before the fourth. Of, I mean for Valentine. They talking about you on here hulling me. They talking about be thankful, Queenie. He tried. Let your king lead. I did. I just said he just made the food for him. I don't eat chocolate. I don't eat lamb. I don't eat lobster. I didn't pick the dessert. I picked the package. I picked the best package. This is what came with the package. Thank you, King. You didn't say that to them. You don't call me King. What the hell wrong with you? <laughs> I can pretend. Hey, don't put your little chocolate fingers on my shirt. Eat cherries, baby. Have my cherries, too. And okay. eat the yogurt. Ice cream. So you telling me what to do? I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to be nice, woman. 